Ачала! What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? Rat2501 here, and I am actually here. This is a special reaction video. I am here with the guys. Uh, we have Carter, Walker, Yo. Rocker, yeah. Hatless. All right. So I am going. This is 12 giant and buff anime ladies who can powder iron with their calves. Shit. Yes, and, and, it, and this, this is my marvel. This is my marvelous videos. And so you know, I will be asking these. This is the ultimate question. All right. This is the ultimate round of smash or pass uh snoo 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 <laughs> everyone well, here <laughs> is of the age so uh, yes yes weird yes so the sentence is death by snoo snoo okay everyone here's yeah. over, everyone here's over the age of 18 right yes yes, yes. let's get started and go, go. oh Jesus Christ. Oh, Twelve shit. giant and buff man. anime what? ladies who can crush steel with their thighs like butter. We all know run, anime run, girls run. are known to be pretty, dainty, and kawaii. That's what? the basic notion that all of us have. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna there try are this some down characters a bit. out there who are not only cute but will kick your ass in seconds. <laughs> Why the hell is I don't think Roberta is on These this list, and like she should few, be. But their character design and personalities are top notch. And we'd love to see them in action. These oh, muscular crap. ladies are present in quite a few anime across various genres. Whoever faces them, I am strangely aroused right now. On top <laughs> because these ladies I'm scaroused. Will throw you to scaroused. The yeah. Some of the best muscle ladies on God. this list. So yeah. let's see what makes them okay. the best heroines. So we'll go through, they'll be going, oh my god. Like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Ah, good old Attack on Titan. Yeah. I was literally about to call this Titan. Titan what? Titan Oh, Titan Fall. I thought you were going to say another word with an F. So. Titan fuck role during the initial <laughs> invasion of the Titans into parody, which led to the fall of Shiganshina. She inherited the power of the female Titan when she was still very young. Uh huh. Um. The female Titan has some splendid abilities uh, and is known for uh, her endurance and agility. Yeah, yep, titans, it was. She influences pure Titans through her scream. She could attract them towards herself wherever she may be, causing much trouble for not only people around her, but also for herself as the pure Titans will The only reason her she lasted her against, gear, what's his name, Levy, as long as she did, is because he was under orders to bring her in alive. To if she was, he was trying to kill her, she would not have lasted. any part of her body, which gives her a yeah. great advantage Levi. during combat. Okay. Levi, 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 whatever. But he would he he would have fucking destroyed her. Her skin is like diamond and can break blades of ultra steel that the scouts use. She also hardened the skin on her hands and tore Aaron apart. But powerful as the female Titan might be, Annie herself is an enigma. She is highly skilled in close combat in her Titan in human form. Having been trained since she was a young girl, she could best opponents twice her size in immediate action. Like Rainer, yeah. her combat skills right. garner praise from the likes of even yeah. Mikasa herself to the extent that Mikasa asks to spar with Annie. Her hardening helped her encase her body in a diamond shell so she could escape being interrogated by the scouts. Okay, that was the end of that one. So, guys, we're going to start. Yeah. Walker, you're going first. Smash or pass? Yes, I, I like women with actual skin. Yeah. Rocker? Pass. Okay. Hatless? Pass, definitely. Carter? Pass. Yeah, I, I, because, because first of all, I don't like her f Titan form, one, number one. And number two, uh, yeah, she has a shitload of emotional baggage, so that's a definite pass, I think. So she basically is the bottom of the barrel here, guys. Yeah, she is that's a really scraping for it. Yeah, yeah she is totally... To mention... What, Ro Carter? Not to mention, I looked up her age and she's 16 oh fuck okay, that yeah, man yeah, yeah okay yeah, no. yeah yeah hard pass hard pass all right let's that's keep going pass. let's keep going extra, hard pass. extra. I think pa wait FBI pause on that on a, uh, fbi should be knocking on the door in the mix, no boom, 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 boom. FBI, they don't want to they don't be knocking on the door if we said something else yeah oh. Let, let's just go let's go let's go oh no my money's oh. in another car 
Boy. Mount Lady. Oh, okay. Now you have my attention. Hero Academia. Oh, you now you have my. Be yes, before you merely had my curiosity. Now you have my erection. <laughs> I have many heroes in the My Hero. Academia oh, there's that guy series. with his morning wood. She is a pro heroine and is also known as the Mikiyama Hero okay. Mount Lady. She is ranked number 23 on the Hero Billboard. How the hell is she ranked 23? <laughs> battle every point you score is not just for you but for your teammates as well she happens to be very popular among the public people often describe her as well she does have some stiff competition right there she is ambitious and sometimes vain as she calls herself the next hottest hero she is considered the youngest pro heroine in the series achieving substantial fame at a very young age every hero in the series inherits a quirk that is the primary source of their powers use quirk is gentrification what he keeps saying very young. I'm not too... No, no, she's not... She's the youngest, but she's not very young, you know? She's not, like, yeah, very young. Yeah, like, she's, she's size like... From small to in her introduction, she's suggests. 22. She can yeah. Go from her height yeah. Of which, is very, which is very... Which is, which is very... Which is very young for a high-level pro hero. Her giant yeah. height of 2,062 centimeters. She wears a unique bodysuit as her hero costume, which allows her to change size easily without causing any damage to her clothing. Although one drawback of her quirk is that she cannot change to any other size, so it's either her regular height of 162 centimeters or her giant 2,062 centimeters. Her quirk gives her increased strength and stamina in her giant form, which allows her to land no shit. blows on her enemies, and she's also capable of destroying buildings. She has two. Okay, I want to see a death battle between her and Giant Man. You know, her and Giant Omega from Monster vs. Aliens. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, there you uh, go. That'd be ul the no, ultimate, no, the ultimate cat no. fight, man. You want to know the? You want to know the ultimate one? What? General W R Monger versus Mount Lady. What the hell, oh, uh, bro, uh, dude? What the hell's matter with you? Super moves that she uses during battle. <laughs> hey, everybody's the taking pictures. Called Canyon Cannon. A move where she Ugh. uses a powerful kick and can send an opponent. Canyon Cannon, uh huh, her yeah, sure. Action is Titan Cliff, where she headbutts her opponents, causing substantial damage. This one is used yeah, to as herself. More of a defensive action. Her two power moves work perfectly with her quirk, giving her a significant advantage in the battlefield. She is a mighty hero and quite good at using her good looks at getting all the attention she wants. It makes her quite the buff beauty everyone loves. Okay, before we get on to the next one. Okay, guys, Walker. Pass. Pass? Really? Okay. Not really into blondes. Rocker? Hey. Now, you see... The thickness is there, but the personality is not. That's also another pass. thing. Her, personal her personality is really arrogant. Because I've, I've read some of her lore, and she's very arrogant and haughty. And mm. I don't like that. So, it's pass. Cheap. Okay. Pass. Carter? Uh... Uh... I have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Carter, okay. This is a hypothetical okay. situation. This is a, right? Yeah, this, I mean, she's not a real person, dude. <laughs> this isn't Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Dude! Oh, <laughs> that would be cool. I know. Smash. Okay, Atlas. <laughs> One, we got. Uh, if, she was, if she wasn't so self absorbed, it would, no. It would, yeah, so if she wasn't so self absorbed, it would be different, but. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, yeah, smash. yeah. That 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 is her casual thing. However, I have read the manga, and I have seen her in action and stuff like that. What she does to help other people. I mean, she has gotten seriously fucked up in a fight, and she has thrown herself into a fight to save people's lives. So she comes across as very arrogant and self-absorbed, but in reality, she is very self-sacrificing. So I go smash. For me, that's yeah. smash. I really do you know like what? her. You know what? I'm going to change my rating. I'm going to change my rating. <laughs> this man. Rock, be Rocker's like, I'd like to change my vote. <laughs> I'd like to change my vote. Yeah, because yeah, in that going. one fight, when they were fighting all for one, I mean, she got her ass kicked, like, badly. But she kept trying to get back up and get back into the fight. You saw that scene they were showing where she gets back up when the guy's flying at them and she takes that hit to the face. She'd already taken a beating by that. And she took that last hit. It took a lot out of her just to grow and take that hit. So, yeah. anyway... So okay, let's I'll keep take a, let's keep going. I'll take a smash on that one. <laughs> oh shit. Matrona, oh. Seven Deadly Sins. Matrona was the former warrior chief of the Eastern Giant Clan, one of the five major clans. She was a highly skilled and stern leader who loved the battle traditions of the Giant Clan. 
She was a mentor to both Diane and Diane's friend Dolores. She also wanted to make Diane the greatest giant warrior. Being the warrior chief of the giant clan, Matrona is known to be very powerful. She has excellent no fighting abilities and has mastered their clan's creation ability. She sports prominent abs and she shows off proudly in her mid-riff exposing outfits. She is pretty strongly built with significant muscles as expected of a warrior of her stature. She is also a talented dancer. You could on those. I know. My god, you could grind meat on those. <laughs> <laughs> and then freaking Goku comes over and just starts like, bitch slapping Frieza like it's nothing. Joy's dance, even after losing her leg. Her extremely ripped body is a Jesus product of Christ. immense training and yeah. She is shown to show and that, tremendous And losing that, leg, losing that leg did not weaken her in battle one damn bit. She can still fight as hard as she could before. She can quickly get the best of Diane and hurt her with her bare hands even while Diane is using heavy metal. Her endurance knows no bounds. She could even defeat 330 Holy Knights of Lioness, despite suffering from poisoning and her right leg being severely damaged. But even after losing a leg, she is still as powerful as ever, and her abilities are compared to a commandment by Merlin herself. She single-handedly ambushed Galland and Monspeet in order to save Diane from them. Look at that! Did you see that? ...are enough to intimidate anyone, just, and that's why we love her. Get out of here. Did you see that? She's still as powerful as ever, and get her abilities are compared to to a commandment by Merlin herself. So you could she just leave. Look at her, look at her. She's like half conscious and she's just, conscious and she's just like, no, having a moment here. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, moment. But since you all have been good boys, you could just leave. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Ah! <laughs> okay, so. Patrona. Okay, smash. Rocker's got a smash. Walker? Smash. Hatless? Strong ladies. Hatless? Uh, smash I might need a step ladder, but I'll smash. What do you say, Hatless? What? Smash, but she has to keep the rock powers to herself. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Carter? Smash. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna round this one out. Matrona is our first all-round winner, you know? Definite smash. <laughs> give it, give it. Yeah. yeah, give it up for Matrona, first one. All right. Let's, let's see who is next. Her ripped looks yes. and mighty aura are enough to intimidate anyone, and that's why You talk a lot of shit, shit for a little shit, shit man. <laughs> you talk a lot of shit for someone in earthbending range. Earthbending range? <laughs> Long time friend. Oh, this Shin. one. She works as a cleaner alongside Shin to eliminate any threats to the family. Noise known to be. Who is this? That's, that's a girl. That's a girl? That's a girl. The, guy, the thing in the mask. The thing in the mask, yeah, yes. You have to see it without the mask. Most people did not even know she was a girl because of her usual outfit. Yep, most, most people didn't know she was a girl. And a gruesome mask that concealed her features. But she is pretty feminine despite her bulky body. Noi's main Damn. magic power is healing one of Christ. the rarest magic types God. in the world. She often uses Holy her power shit, to man. Uh, people that end turns even, into mushrooms. It's not even the breast size. Oh, Jesus. God. Jesus. Jesus. Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my face. heal herself without physically releasing energy. Yeah, that's like, the thing. Out of all the abilities she has, she, her ability is healing. Oh Does she look like a fucking oh. healer to you? Uh, no. Maybe oh. redo of healer, but not this healer. <laughs> it looks like a. It looks like a. But no, you know what it is. You know what that is. God. So in Payday Two, there is an enemy called the Medic Dozer. Bulldozers are already like dudes in body armor. Meant to disarm bombs, but they gave them a MP5 with even more armor, and they gave them the ability to heal people. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, then that that's that. That's that's like you that's like gotta eat. You that's like if you had heal, bitch. That's like if you took the entire roster of uh, was it um, was it until dawn? Which no, which one was it? Dead is it Dead by Daylight? The one with the four guys, the four people in the killer. Yeah, yeah. Dead by Daylight. Yeah, take the entire killer roster of uh, Dead by Daylight, and then take Leatherface and tell everyone he's the healer. That's this right here. <laughs> well, I mean, he wouldn't say that. He just looked around like... Uh, he's the healer. He, you know, he it's like... Around, he just looked around like... Uh, he looked around like... Uh, 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 okay. And quite resilient to physical attacks, making oh, my balls! Unkillable. <laughs> so high that she can rebuild Jeez. any from any injury as Kick long as Kick that bitch like a, she is like, like a soccer ball! And can cave men's skulls without effort. She can't stand anyone being stronger than her and often gets into fights with others. Her partner Shin is the brains of the team, whereas Noi is usually the one to start fighting among the two. She could completely heal Shin's arm when it was melted and even restored his hammer to its original state. 
Despite her physique, she's pretty bubbly and has an adorable personality. Okay, so what was that? here comes a new challenger. Yeah, on and that one, the on Canadian that one. has arrived. Oh, and that's gonna Smart. be a smash for me. That last one. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, Walker. I don't think we should be doing this with someone who's under eighteen. Oh, this right here. Oh, yeah, but, but... He doesn't have a hand in this. Yeah, he doesn't have a hand in this. I'm not asking him. Okay. Besides, other people will be watching this video, you know? It's like, not all people watch my videos are over 18. I just demand that they be over 12. Smash. Really? I'm gonna pass. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hatless? Uh... Well, I would say Smash, considering I don't give... I don't like altercation, so I wouldn't really give her a real reason to hit me. Okay. I would rather just kill me outright. Well, <laughs> kill you outright, yeah. Uh, you, know what, though, you know, you know, the, you know, though, though, her her family's like creepy as fuck. So I'm actually gonna go with a pass on that one. Hmm. Hmm. What if her family wasn't creepy? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. She just doesn't really do it for me that much. Well, so this one right out of the gate, pass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Kale. Yeah. Yeah. Kale. The female Super Broly. Yeah. It's just Broly. <laughs> And, and you know what, though? She's nowhere near as strong as Broly is. You know, the super cannon Broly? She's nowhere near yeah. as strong as he is. No, absolutely not. No, I mean, I mean he, that... He <laughs> broke reality with his fists. Yeah. His fists! And the first time he did it, he was just in his regular Super Saiyan. Exactly! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Legendary and that? Man. Yeah. Was, and that? Was, was Broly basically... Stop dog, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku and Vegeta, and Golden Frieza. Golden Frieza. He ran for Frieza's hour. shit for an hour, like an hour and a half. He literally just went, oh, it's time to wrestle my stress, Frieza. Exactly. <laughs> he grabs him by the head. We fight, we fight, we fight like, like men. men. Uh, <laughs> come, we fight like men. <laughs> you look like a good enough stress toy. <laughs> exactly. Have fun, Frieza. I didn't sign up for that. It's, I mean, dude, when you when you're when you're you go from being the emperor of the universe to being somebody's stress ball for an hour. Stress <laughs> ball. <laughs> Let's keep going. Kale is assigned from Universe Six and was a part of Team Universe Six during the Boring. Universe Survival Saga. She is also co See, but... I don't I don't like her in her buff form or this form. In this form, she looks like anorexic. She does. Yeah, and I don't care for Kale either. Uh, I mean, what ca ca Khalifa, or yeah, Khalifa. I don't care for either one of them. Best friend and protege. She is the legendary saint. Well, Khalifa is a, a bitch. A so who only appears once every one thousand years. Kale in her standard form is actually quite shy, but her Super Saiyan forms are quite the opposite. Her transformations are usually triggered by suppressed anger or emotions. Okay. Her Super Saiyan form gives her massive increase in power. She gains control of her powers in this form and can easily use them without wasting I don't excess think she, I don't energy. Think she, got a she can create Starbucks. larger craters yeah. in the ground by just screaming. Oh, even when shit. hit with a point blank Super Saiyan. Okay, he says she can she can create craters in the ground just by screaming. There's like ten other guys in the Dragon Ball roster who uh, can do the same see. shit. So, <laughs> so. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Ultimate Gohan, uh, Goku in any form he's in. Yeah, I remember, uh, Vegeta remember, in any form he's in. Remember uh, when Goku? Broly. Remember when Goku fought and Super Saiyan 3 fought Boo on the Kai's world, and they and just when they weren't even fighting, they were just standing there with their power emitting. They were creating craters that could be seen from space. Yeah. And, uh, oh, what? What also, can Kale do again? Uh, well, she's super powerful and everything, but also, uh, she's also a lesbian, by the way, so. You really? She'd be off the menu regardless. You'd realize, you'd realize Kid Boo could just easily destroy her. I don't Kid think so. Boo. I don't think he could easily destroy her. I think she would fuck him up pretty badly. But the thing with well, Boo is he's delicate, but it's his regeneration that makes him crazy and his limitless energy supply. He never gets tired. Uh, what about Boo when he's absorbed Gotenks and Gohan? Well, he at that point, yes, he was. He was. That was his strongest form. He was way stronger than Kid Buu then. In Kamehameha, she was unfazed okay. and walked right through it. She battered. Him. Yeah, she did. She did walk flights. right through Her Goku's Kamehameha. Eliminated and then the Super Saiyan Blue. Kamehameha. That suppressed. That. Kale's designed yeah. to save her best friend Khalifa during Universe. See, be best, best, best friend Khalifa. No, no, she's not. Khalifa's not her best friend. At least, not. 
she wants to be more than friends with Khalifa, so we can just put that out there right now. Okay, we all know it. Okay, just We're gonna accept put it. That out there. We're going to put that out there right now. Yeah, just accept it, okay? Allowed her to focus herself into a stable Super Saiyan form, and she released energy that could break through a separate dimension. Kale's raw strength overwhelms Goku and forces him on the defensive. Watch yourself, R. Okay. <clears throat> what? So for what? Kale, so for Kale, we're all basically saying that's a hard pass, right? Pass, yeah. major yeah. pass. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna say smash. Oh, okay. I'm already gonna say smash. Gardner's Gardner's really for Kale? Smash. Oh, for this one? Yeah. Finish rapid deployment. Oh, for her, yes. No. Only other female member of Koku's squad. She is a challenging and fierce individual, and usually calm and composed. She comes uh -huh. from a notable Finnish military family, and has always been oh, she's a Finnish. person. Oh. She is pretty dedicated to Koko. She lost her eye when Chen Guoming attacked her UN squad. Despite losing her eye, her uh, abilities UN? have in no way been affected. She is she's in NATO? strong and can easily take yeah. men who are much larger than her in size. Not only does she have immense physical strength, I would imagine she there's many men that are larger than her in size. Close range <laughs> Owing to her military background, she is pretty skilled at using firearms. She is a nice. master of knife fighting, That's and her all right. knife skills put there, people I'm to sold. shame. <laughs> You've already struck oil. Yeah, you exactly. Keep drilling. Hey, you don't need to keep drilling. Keep drilling. You've already struck <laughs> oil. She usually wields two knives, one knife, and one pistol, giving her a reasonable range. She even bested both Mildo and Karen. Even after being shot twice, she recovered pretty quickly. Okay, so... Yep, smash. 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 Yeah, yeah, I'm get... smash. Yeah. Uh, Walker? I'm gonna say smash. Okay, Hatless? Ah, oh, this is tough on me. Uh... I want... Like... I'm gonna say pass solely for the fact that I feel like if I went for it, it would hurt. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be adventurous here, and I'm just gonna say Smash 2. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, exactly. You want to die like, a, you want to die like last men die? You, what what you they die that. of? Crushed pelvises. <laughs> what about Carter? Uh, uh, Smash. Oh, I thought he already said so. I'm sorry. Oh, that's true. No, I said Smash on Kale. I mean, Kale. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, so let's keep going. Ah, Devil Lady. Jun Fudo, Devil Man Lady. Jun Fudo is the main protagonist of Devil Man Lady. She was a 22-year-old supermodel before her life completely changed when she became affected by the Devil Beast Factor. She is lovely and successful, but timid at the same time. Although her persona as Devil Man Lady is much different, she is much more vicious and ruthless, showing no mercy to her enemies. June was relatively Holy weak crap. before and even suffered from anemia, which caused her regular visits to the hospital. After being affected and becoming Devil Man Lady, she gained increased vitality even when she was not in her lady form. Her lady form also gives her an extra 3 meters in height. She is skilled in combat and is often considered the strongest in the world. She also possesses healing abilities, allowing her to heal from her wounds in a matter of minutes. She can fly oh using gosh. the wings on her back. She can fly as fast as a fighter jet and to heights where she is untraceable with the naked eye. She has a gigantic version aptly named Lady Giga, which allows her to increase to 10 meters in height and it even changes her personality. Her She's a little bit bigger than 10 meters. In proportion to her size, just like how people say, the bigger, the better. She uses a variety of powerful moves. The first one is Devil Cutter, where Lady can transform her wings into blades and cut through anything in one go. Using Devil Beam, she could channel electricity through her fingers and shoot a high voltage blast, destroying Devil Beasts in large sizes. Giga Day, characterized by Giga Lady, releases an explosion of energy to obliterate her enemies in the Hey, Giga Lady, could you cut that power rack down here? Okay, so, the Devil Lady. What name is that? Uh, you'll get to that one later. When Devil the hell the... Uh, uh oh. yes, yes, smash for the last one. Little Devil oh, Lady? Yeah. Pass. Okay, card is a pass. Uh... Hatless? Normal uh, form, smash. Not normal, smash. Devil Lady? Pass. Pass. <laughs> pass. Walker? So I got I'm, I'm half. going pass because Devil? I'm yeah. a Christian? Yeah, exactly. Kind of a well, she, well, she's disagreement not, she's there. Not, Actually, if you think it, she's not really a devil devil, you know, she just, it's kind of like a, it's a viral mutation. But anyway, so I will, not from I will, hell. no, no, but I will say pass though, because, um, well, basically like, um, uh, Khalifa, she's also a lesbian, so. 
Well, I mean, it's also that, and she looks like she has some emotional baggage. She too. has she has an enormous amount of emotional baggage. Okay, yeah, we're going to roll back the clock on this one. We're going to say it passed. Okay, yeah. Well, Rocker heard that word, emotional baggage, and yeah, that was a deal cutter. Literally, uh, I would literally be like the replicas. Shoot it. Shoot the fucking thing. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, oh, I remember her. My appearance. I'm too buff and Pause I it. hate it. What? Pause it. When the hell did Princess Peach get into the steroids? Ah, uh, damn, man. She got into some good shit, man. There's more than steroids there. That's she got Ven that super soldier syndrome. Yeah, she got she got venom. She, where, who the hell? She's buying her shit from Bane. <laughs> God. So what did you say? Bisky slash Biscuit Kruger. Yeah. Hunter X Hunter. Fuck. Biscuit yeah. Kruger often known talk, as talk about a contrast, huh? Treasure hunter who she's from Hunter Hunter. Yeah, she's built oh, like a the JoJo Green character. Yeah. Biscuit is a mighty hunter. Well, that's her other form. Like looks. I wonder what she chooses her to be is. perceived. She's actually she's actually like in her thirties, but if you call her anything other than a little girl, she will kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, that's gonna be a pass. Like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah me too. To I'm gonna pass. Yeah, I would say pass. Yeah. She comes out as a problematic character at first, but by her second appearance in the kind. Era, Ant Arc, you feel you're welcoming an old friend you know well. She is prone to violent outbursts if left out of a discussion Ass. or reminded of her age. Kilua frequently becomes one of her victims because. The thing is, though, when she's in that small form, it's not that she changes her mass either. She basically compresses her mass into that small form. So, in that small form, she's incredibly dense. She's virtually impossible to damage. Still pass. Yeah. Show the fucking thing. Kill it. Kill it right fucking now. Fight with individuals with kill it, kill it right fucking now. <laughs> Despite her sternness and dishonest demeanor, Biscuit is readily convinced when someone oh, appreciates well, her bye. attractiveness. When Kurapika <laughs> admits she looks like a princess, Biscuit quickly becomes charmed and compliant. Biscuit is a highly competent and powerful fighter. She attained the pinnacle of her physical ability via rigorous training. She has yet to demonstrate any offensive <laughs> oriented special oh, powers pop. since her comprehensive yeah. knowledge of Nen, honed body, and martial Bye. arts have been sufficient to Yeah, she's always her punched the shit out of so them. Far. Her real strength is likewise. Oh my high. god, did you she see that? All her Bye. So far. Team her Rocket blasting off the Jeez, look at his face is gone! Oh Oh my I'm going God. I'm going to punch your face <laughs> in the face. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, she'd be able to do that. Yes. Literally just Mortal Kombat at his ass. Yeah, that's a Mortal Kombat X-ray moment if I ever saw one. Like God. literally, it's like that one that fucking what what's Jax's daughter? Oh my god. Yeah, where she punches through a person's face through and whatever fatalities. That's like this. Jeez, yeah. I mean, my God, he should not live through that. I mean, your brain should not be intact. Your face, your skull would literally be smushed like a pug. Oh, my it's like punching unknown. someone in Yakuza. Yeah, she overcame difficult Jeez. like Benolt and Bera all on her own, leaving them afraid of her ultimate might, which she is pretty proficient at disguising even in her younger form. Okay, so that's, that's, a, hard, that's a hard pass on for everybody, right? All right. Yeah, pass. Pass. Yeah, that, yeah, that's pass. Oh, I don't care that she's 30. She looks like she's way younger than that. No. no. Yeah, no. exactly. Shoot, get, shoot the fucking thing. Get yeah, that, that pedo shit away from I, me. I'm not, I'm not into the whole legal lolly thing, you know, me either. I, so. ain't, I ain't into that pedo shit. Okay, well, let's keep let's keep going. No, no. I, I, oh. Uh, yeah. What's up? So that's a woman. Dang it, Mompa. Sakura Run. is dang it. I'm just gonna throw this out there. This is probably gonna be a hard pass for everybody because she's like 16. Uh, she's uh, what? Havoc yeah. Rampa. She's a high school student, dude. What? Yeah. Huh? Major pass, character. just, 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 she also just that. In yeah. Rampa too. Goodbye, despair as a cameo. Dangan Rampa Togami also features her. Sakura is a trap. Traps exist in anime and manga as the yeah. She's like a reverse trap because she looks like a man. She is a master of martial arts. In Dangan Rampa, so yeah, chapter um, four, she commits suicide. Sakura is a calm, compassionate, and level-headed young lady. Yeah. She seldom what loses her cool and appears to be able to keep her cool like in any Super scenario. Saiyan. She can get frustrated and upset sometimes. She looks such like as when others feel she is a <laughs> chef because of but her her sex wife. Occasionally she will lose her cool and become significantly scary to the people around her, especially if one of her pals are injured. She also becomes irritated if she cannot practice effectively for an extended amount of time. Well, give it a shot. 
She is well known for her love of protein Good and Lord. protein coffee. And her protein and protein coffee? What the, the fuck? There. A hearty meal. So, oh, oh, I think right there oh. she was going Super Saiyan. <laughs> You're going Super Saiyan? She aspires to be the strongest human on the planet and is an expert in mixed martial arts. Uh -oh. She is reported bear, to have learned to fight bear? before she learned to walk. Her fuck. father taught her MMA. Okay, her father taught her MMA. Who the fuck was her father? Akuma? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Asura? Asura? Yeah, who the hell was her father? Akuma? Akuma? Asura? What the fuck? Dude? I'll, I'll be it. Think, I think Asura could destroy her. Well, yeah, I'm so, yeah, no, I mean, she's no, not super Asura's human. Asura's illegitimate daughter. I know, but it's like, God, what the hell, man? She's like a, she's like a human version of Broly. <laughs> she vanquished him when she was 14 and never faced him again. Sakura felt she beat her father when she was 14. Jesus. What of... Yeah. No wait. Don't go, go back Before to her Afro father, man. Since they had see what happened? She was 14 and never faced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, bro. Again. Sakura <laughs> felt sympathy. <laughs> Please don't eat me. <laughs> What's with the Please scar don't... across her face? Please don't eat me. A face, dude. She's got them all over her body. Father, since they are the same objective. She's she... fought. She's fought animals. Oh. I think she's fought like bears yeah. and tigers and shit. Yeah. Mm. And to conquer any and all hurdles that stood in See? her way. See, look at the one on she her shoulder. Professional combatants, including wrestlers, when she was younger. Okay, so that's a hard pass for everybody, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. Age way, pass. way too young. Age pass. Way too yeah. pass. But she could also, like, you know, rip me in half. Yeah, with, probably without even meaning to do it. <laughs> Let's keep going. Are, are you okay? I am in half! My I am intestines in half. are out of my body! My legs oh. are over there! Outlaw Star. Reiko Ando is the universal strongman tournament's longest female champion. My arm doesn't bend that way! My arm doesn't bend that way! Oh, now it does! Shape. She is tall, towering over Jean, and displaying an influential figure. She also has brown eyes and brown hair. Peach, again. So many people on here looking like Princess Peach. Despite her manly That's a good question, hair, actually. Mary Fred, as Should evidenced by her four-year streak of winning the Empty Universal Strongman Tournament. Empty your fucking bags! Tournament. During her duel with Jean, she is confident that she will prevail for the sixth time, but she has also shown to uh -huh. resent and disguise Jean's lack of professionalism during the fight and is easily enraged by his mocking and arrogance. Reiko is a yeah, that one's a guy. who can knock out Jean with a single the, throw the pink one. That's a guy. progress through the competition by quickly it's dispatching the other contestants. My, my. She appears unable to control Oh my god! And god. I bet she gives them bear hugs. <laughs> I bet she gives great helmet. <laughs> okay. She gives her great hugs. Okay, so, Walker? If I have to crack some nuts, I will. One, how old is she? Uh, she's definitely above age. She's a professional fighter. Smash because she seems like a very nice person along with being strong. Yes, yeah, and, then she, and she'll smash, smash you. <laughs> that's well, smash she seems very me. nice. Yeah. That's a smash. That's a smash from me. Okay. It's not just how you look, it's also personality. That's true. She, very true. She has both. A nice blend. Uh, nah. I would say, yeah, I would say. Say smash. Yeah. Okay, Carter. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with pass. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with pass on this one, basically because I don't like that old style of animation. But. <laughs> well, well, she was remastered in newer animation. Yeah, maybe, maybe. With the I mean, same she's personality. Not, she's, not a bad, she's not a bad character overall. But it's just like her old animation makes her look very, like blank, you know, like you can't really tell what gender she is, really, you know. Well, I mean, you could kind of tell. It's a, more, a little. It's not as outward, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so let's keep going. Who the hell? Another old anime. Sandra Guts, Dirty Pair. Sandra Guts is There's a no way in hell that that's a woman. WA trainee from the Dirty Pair OVA episode. You took Ray his Ray name? Revenge <laughs> Kay and Yuri know her. Years later, Guts she gains much muscle using a new performance-enhancing medication player. called... Okay, she's not... She's a performance-enhancing medication. She was using Venom, okay? So, she's a juicer. No. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, a pass immediately. Oh my god. ...for many years and pushing them into a wrestling fight to showcase her dominance. When upset, she often... And she can't be that strong. Look at that little twig actually took two kicks from her before she went down. 
to be fair, if steroids don't make you strong, they just make it bigger. Over her brain. Yeah. Well, well no, they don't even do that. Easy. Steroids don't even do that. They make they give you energy so you can work out longer. That's all they do, dude. Oh. Using enhances her insane. Right? It also it Despite also increases this, like testosterone and stuff like that, so you build muscle company, faster. Skillfully making. Whoa. Industry. Okay, that was impressive. You see where her knee went? Yeah. Through, through the floor. The she has also proven intelligent enough to foresee potential threats. However, her vanity and envy oh. of the lovely angels frequently overshadows this. And if oh, you liked damn. our content, don't forget to leave I like that content right there. there. If you haven't already. Oh, oh God. I, li I, like I like that. that. I like that. I like her. I, I know. That was very, that was very likable. Know, <laughs> the, fact, the fact that there was no mere cue from My Hero Academia is kind of a sin. But, That's um, true. Uh, I don't know when this movie. Pass. I don't know when this video was made, so that might this might predate her. So, so pass from everybody. Yeah, pass. Yeah. Oh, and the yes. last one. Yeah, definitely pass. Yeah, she's she's a bitch, and she's she's she's, she's you know, there's really strange. not there's likable. Something, yeah. There's something strange in the ring. <laughs> it looks like a bitch. <laughs> it looks it looks like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's something strange flying over Texas. <laughs> looks like, like a bitch. Looks like a bitch. Looks like a bitch. <laughs> God, Motifa. <laughs> Motifa, supersonic speed. Oh God, I'll oh, kill every one of you. I'm coming to kill every one of you. <laughs> God, I'm coming to fucking kill everybody. <laughs> God, man. We're in the freaking hospital, and it's just hurry. <laughs> I don't want to tell you the fire. <laughs> God. Anyway, so there you go, guys. Uh, smash or pass? Think. So let me know your comments in the. Uh, let me know your your uh, verdicts in the comments below. All right. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, uh, click on the link to the original down in the description, and subscribe to them and like them. That's uh, what is it called? Marvelous. What? Marvelous, marvelous stories videos. Or marvelous videos. Marvelous videos. Get down to them. Like the original and sub to them if you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe here. And I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Bye-bye. <laughs>